हेलो एवरीबॉडी एंड माय नेम इज नरेंद्र कुमार एंड वी आर फ्रॉम नरेंद्र एकेडमी एंड टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज एक्टिविटी टू इन विच वी ट्राई टू काइंड ऑफ प्रूव दैट लाइट टेक्स द लीस्ट डिस्टेंस व्हेन इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स फ्रॉम अ सरफेस इट ट्रैवल्स दैट पाथ इन विच इट हैज टू ट्रैवल द लीस्ट डिस्टेंस सो विल डू इट लाइक इट्स वेरी ब्यूटीफुली गिवन लाइक अ स्टोरी एक्टिविटी टू आई रीड आउट द वंडरफुल टेक्स्ट बुक वी हैव इन आवर हैंड्स A smart crow is on a tree at point A. As shown in the figure, some grains are on the ground. If the crow wants to take a grain and reach the point B on the other tree as early as possible in least time, from where should the crow pick the grain? So, should it pick from C or D or E or F? He has given two examples. Is this shortest? This shortest? This short? How is it? He has given a very detailed understanding of this. With the mathematical knowledge you have about angles and triangles, can you guess the path that the crow selects? Can you guess the path that the crow selects? If you can't, let us read the following. The crow can pick the grain from any point on the ground, but the condition is selecting a point on the ground to reach B. From point A, it should take the least possible time. If we assume that the speed of crow is constant, the path that the crow select should be the shortest so the path should be the shortest because the speed is the same so which is the shortest distance we have to check observe some of the let us find the shortest path observe some of the paths in figure 3 which among the paths a c b a d b a e b a f b which among the paths which among the paths of these four is the shortest path to compare the lengths of these paths we make duplicates of them in such a way that all the duplicates meet at a point g meet at a point g so we make a duplicates like this so all meet we see that they meet at g in the figure cb is equal to cg cb cb is equal to cg the length of the path acb acb is equal to ac Plus CB, but CB is equal to CG, so it is AC plus CG, AC plus CG. Similarly, AD plus DG, AE plus EH, EG, AF plus FG. Similarly, length of the path ADB, ADB is equal to length of the path ADG. Length of the path AE, AEB is equal to length of the path AEG. The length of the path AFB. Is equal to the length of path AFG. So now we have. What did we do? We took this path and made it this path. That's the interesting point. So instead of taking this path, we made this path this path. Instead of taking this path, which we want, we took this path, this path, and this path. If you observe figure, this figure four. Carefully, you will notice that among the paths A, C, G. Now we have to only find out A, C, G is shortest, or A, D, G is shortest, or A, E, G is shortest, or A, F, G is shortest. It's clear. This is a straight line distance, or it is the shortest. Yes. If you observe the figure carefully, you will notice that among the paths A, C, G, A, D, G, A, E, G, and A, F, G. the shortest path is aeg because it is a straight line distance between points a and g it's going straight so obviously uh, this will be longer than this you can measure and check this using a scale as aeg is equal to aeb aeg is equal to aeb we have done already that aeg is equal to aeb aeb is the shortest path and if you measure the angle You will find that the angle of incidence is equal to angle of refraction. If you take a perpendicular here, this angle, this angle is equal to this angle. That is how we have the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. By what principle? That the light chooses that path. It always travels that path which takes the least distance. If we draw a normal uh, E E. E E dash. So the smart crow will pick the grain from point E. Now, if you take E E dash, E E dash. So this is E E dash, which is perpendicular. 
E E dash at point E we can easily find out that angle e, A E E angle 1 is equal to angle E dash E B. Like the crow in the above situation, light also selects that path which takes the least time to travel. This principle was first given by Pierre de Fermat, a French lawyer and an amateur mathematician. Amateur is not professional. So it is also applicable to reflection of light. When light gets reflected from a surface, it selects the path that takes the least time. That is why the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection as shown in figure. So now the next activity will be a fun activity and after that we will do and a lab activity which is reflection of light by play, play mirrors. Okay, this is Narendra Kumar and we will meet in the next lesson. Thank you.